welcome back to Let's Clean Power Wash Simulator. I'm Burning Dog Face, and last time I polished off the, uh, the monkey bars over here. This time I will get started by hosing down this part. Yes, let's just parkour our way across this job. Very close up, this should help. I think the very last level of this game should be uh, hosing off one of the Power Wash Service's uh, jumpsuits, which is completely coated in crud after all this. I can't believe that worked. Shit. Oh, that worked too. It is true that with the white nozzle I have to go over it several times, but it does cover a very large area, and up close like this you can't really argue with that. Go, just get into the deeper bits. Gnarly. Oh, that looks way better. I miss. That felt good. I guess it is just a shadow.
That felt very good. Large bridge guard. What the hell does that even mean? Oh, it's the, it's the overall bar. I was looking specifically at uh, that bit right there. Because it doesn't count as a separate piece. Oh, well. Oh, good. Now I just need to repeat that whole process of the tower twice. How joyous. How incredible. Or I could put it off and just go down here. This will be fine for this distance. Oh, hang on, I was going to do a thing, wasn't I? Okay, uh... I pondered the other day, uh, whether everything was so, uh, well, like this, because of the volcano, and I think, uh, yes, shout out to Rachel Starwin, who, uh, had the same thought. I'm guessing the reason that everything is so filthy in this town is because of the volcano. Maybe there's a huge power-washing industry for this town because of all the volcanic ash. And now, shout out to Derek Floyd, who, uh brings up the very good point that apparently volcanic ash is not water-soluble. It has to be removed in a specific way, and washing it down the drain is the worst way to do it. Hmm. That's very interesting to me. Uh, also, shout out to Diane Dorman, who, uh, suggested that she get green gloves. Match my suit. <laughs> I mean, they do look pretty stylish. I like that. Nice firm grips on the uh, the palm. 
Excellent. Now I have to assume that it's equipped. Oh, no, no, that's right. You actually can do that. Achievement unlocked. Fashionista. Equip a new outfit, new gloves, and a washer modification at the same time. Ah, yes, because I got the Space Cadet one on. On my washer, I mean. stuff made of anyway you know not to date myself or anything but when I was a child uh, playgrounds universally had uh, had sand on them as the floor you know because you can't get dirt dirty I guess there was an issue with, like, stray cats uh, burying their waste in the sand. Because it's not just uh, domesticated cats that do that, apparently. It's uh, actually a means of uh, hiding their tracks from their rivals, I guess. And uh, they were, you know, worried about kids getting sick from uh, exposure to that. So first they replaced them with uh, just gravel, which was a terrible idea because, you know, gravel hurts when you fall on it. You can't even walk on it barefoot. I have no idea what they were thinking in that case. It was probably just the next cheapest material, the sand. And, uh, last I checked, they had followed that up with a much better idea, but it probably costs way more. Or the floor of the playground is made up of, uh, shredded rubber? I guess is, is both less appealing as a ba bathroom to uh, cats and wild animals, and uh, also much softer to land on, you know, if you're jumping off of stuff or falling down or what have you. How the fuck? I remember the same way I clean everything else off, I... Hose down as much of it as I can and hope for the best for the parts I can't reach. I don't love how much of that is still uh, filled in. Hmm. Oh, right, I didn't. Hmm, I moved the ladder. Duh. Never mind, I couldn't actually carry this ladder under that bridge. Oh, that's suspiciously specific. Sorry, there was a odd noise coming from the road in the distance. Somebody's weird horn, I guess. Oh yes, this is tremendously helpful. 
I'm not actually hitting anything. The water is not going anywhere. I think I hit it, you guys! Motherfucker. That's probably unhealthy. I'm getting this, the dirt in the gun, and I don't want that. Oh, you know what? I could probably just... Wrong one. Fucking hell, how is it still so messy? Oh! That's not annoying in the slightest. Die! Squeeze! Hold your breath, guys! Ugh. My organs. Ah, uh, a little compression never hurt anyone. That's a lie! Uh, without looking anything up in, in the all, I can think of at least one person who died from crushing, so yes, that was not true. It was an employee at uh, Disneyland, incidentally, who is the reason why uh, the rides that have the walls that slide around you need to reveal different parts of an, anima of an animatronic show. Uh, that's the reason why those walls are breakaway now. So they can't freaking crush anyone to death if they're stupid enough to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Because having an employee just suddenly Kool-Aid man out into the, uh, auditorium is still better for the guests than, uh, listening to someone die horribly. Excellent! And in the name of uh, preserving the arch as long as possible, I guess I'll just finish this uh, section here. Make sure that made a nice photo there for the, you know, the newspaper ads, before and after. Wrong direction, there we go. Take that, filth! You know, I was thinking to myself just now that it would be uh, really nice if they did a DLC level. You know, let's finish the, uh, the joke we were making last time. In fact, I think I got a shout-out about that. Um... Oh, there it is, yes. Shout-out to Elthwar, who uh, says... Doc Powerwash, as the good twin of the TF2 Pyro, fits quite well as the mental image. Of course, comparing the mental state of the two, it could be that Doc Power sees themselves as always being in a doom-like setting, battling the dirt. <laughs> I like that. Because, of course, the Pyro's job is setting people on fire and killing them horribly, and, uh... Uh, they perceive, uh... I was trying to remember which one it was, and then I remembered it. They rotate pronouns with the, with the pyro. Yeah, they perceive themselves as, uh... Like, bringing joy to fairy children or something? Spreading rainbows and bubbles and such around? See, I could absolutely see you reversing that, where it's, you know, Doc Power Wash here, who's just scrubbing things clean. And he's imagining himself just, like, blasting dirt demons with acid as they melt horrifically. Ah. <sighs> 
Huh. Pressurized acid. There you go. And it absolutely, positively needs to be destroyed. Man, the waivers you would have to sign from that power washing service. Yeah, I was starting to say there, uh, before I remember I hadn't actually read that shout out yet, that uh, I was thinking myself it would be funny if they did a TF2 level, except I can't for the life of me. I mean, I haven't played TF2 in years and years and years, but, you know, I can't for the life of me think of which one would be more dirty than the others. I mean, I guess you could just do, like, two for it and slap dirt all over it. I mean, not to start anything. That's probably what they did with Croft Manor, right? I mean, it looks like they took the old level geometry, from what I can remember. They had, like, the tutorial area with the, uh, the gymnastics bars and everything. I cannot confirm whether or not the farting butler returns. Oh. Every time I hit the right trigger, all of a sudden the uh, controller stops working. I hate that. Okay, there we go. Ah, perfect timing, though, since I can adjust adjust this between videos. Wee. Maybe I can slide down that once it's, you know, not covered in more gravel than dirt than, uh, well, you know, the dirt. Look how immaculate that lawn is. The municipality must have, like, a whole fucking... Huh. Come to think of it, this place is, like, as big as a shopping mall. And there's nothing here except whatever that is... Uh, whatever that is. I think there's another building somewhere. Yes, over there. That and... That's a, that's a fat tree, sure. It's like... Well, my first thought is, it's like Central Park if there was nothing in Central Park. That's like... ...for it would... Surely the bark would get blasted away. Plus, hey, it's probably healthy for a tree to have a layer of dirt on it. As I think about it. Alright, uh, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Clean Power Wash Simulator. When we continue scrubbing in our spiffy new gloves. When we try to work out what the hell that is over there. Maybe that's another level. And as we look forward to all the, to the joy in the children's eyes, and they see how beautiful this place is going to become. Later.